Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we've got a very special video. It's our 100th video. Yes. That's all the streamers. <laughs> yes. And we uh, started doing this on May 5th of 2020. Uh, come a long way since those days. Yeah. I think we just started kind of during the pandemic, right? Right. We, yeah. we started in the pandemic. We couldn't get out and go anywhere. But we were in each other's bubbles, so we uh, uh, decided to start shooting, start some, shooting some videos. And uh, started off shooting them off on an iPad, I believe, right. you know. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean... Uh, Quality's come a long way. Yes, we've yeah. come a long way with our quality. Um, but still, those uh, older videos are fun to watch. Uh, um, you know, starting with the old uh, Widow Jane was our very first was video. first video, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what we decided to do today, since it's our 100th video, is to do 100 proof whiskeys, bottled and bond. That's right. And what we did is I picked three whiskeys uh, from my collection, Matt picked three whiskeys from his collection, and we're going to talk about them and taste them. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yes. So uh, I guess before we should start, I should probably say something a little bit about bottled and bond. You know, Bottled and Bond is, uh, uh, was passed in 1897, and it was uh, passed in order to set straight whiskey up above uh, uh, the rectified whiskeys of the day. Because rectifying was kind of out of hand at a certain point, right? Right. It, you know, they were uh, taking grain-neutral spirits, or even not even grain-neutral spirits, as neutral spirits of any type, and putting artificial coloring and uh, fruit juices and other things in it to make it kind of look like bourbon, and they were calling it bourbon hmm. or rye. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the straight distillers got together and uh, got the Bottled and Bond Act passed, which says that every drop of the bottle in that bottle is from the same distillery, made in the same season, spring and fall. Spring starts in January 1st, ends on the end of June. Fall starts July 1st, ends at the end of December. It's um, aged at least four years old and then bottled at 100 proof with nothing but pure water added to adjust the proof. That's bottled and bond whiskey. It's a uh, uh, the closest thing you're going to get to a uh, 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 a straight whiskey that's a, a vintage product, mm -hmm. you know, because it all has to come from that same season. Right. All right. Yeah. So the first one I have for us is Old Granddad Bottled and Bond. It's always been one of my favorite whiskeys. I use it for cooking. Uh, How long has that one been around for? Oh, it's been around since the 1870s. Wow. It's a very old brand. It's changed some over the years, but still, you know, when Jim Beam bought it in the 80s, mm -hmm. they did a good job of keeping the, uh, uh, the flavor profile very similar to what it was. There has been some flavor drift, but it's still pretty good. And, and it's reasonable. This is one of your favorite ones to yeah. cook in and all that stuff, right? You use this, yeah. this bottle for a lot of... It, yeah. makes it, it makes great cocktails as well. makes great cocktails. It makes great Manhattan. Uh, yeah, just a great. very good whiskey. Got a great nose, a lot of, a lot of caramel, a little, a little bit of a fruitiness to it. Kind mm -hmm. of a... I get some citrus, I get some pitted fruit, some dark cherry dates. Yeah, the caramel really comes through, the oak. Yeah, the caramel, yeah, the oak. It's just a great whiskey. Let's yeah. take a sip. Yeah, it's nice. It's like, yeah, you're right. It's like caramel. It's like almost salted caramel. 
And then towards the finish, I get like oak and pepperiness, like a black pepper for me. Yeah. Yeah. Just classic tasting. Just really. Yeah. Really you get, definitely get that peppery spice on the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a very good whiskey. Jim Bean's doing a great job with it. And I mean, that bottle's what, 25 dollars $20, $20? $20, $25. You yeah. know, in Kentucky. <laughs> you so know. you can get great stuff for that price, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Great whiskey. All right. Moving on to my collection. I think my first one is going to be uh, the Old Forcer 1897 Bottled and Bond. Um, this is one that uh, I'm not sure how long they've been running that series, um, but I think this one is not from. 2022 this is uh from 2021 and this one uh my girlfriend and i especially were surprised at how good it was um you know we you know i, lo I love old forester but uh this one was actually kind of special and i've had the 2022 and i did not think it quite held up as good as uh, the year before so yeah, well like i said it's like bottled and bond it's going to change right you're, you're right you exactly. know the vintage the nature right the nature yeah. So, yeah, so was Old Forester, are they, uh, was that one of the first bottled and bonds? No, actually, they fought against the bottled and bond act. Oh, they they were one of the rectifiers. Oh, okay. And uh, they did eventually come around to uh, uh, the bottled and bond. Mm -hmm. And for many years, Old Forester bottled and bond was a, a standard. Then they got rid of the old Forrester Bottled and Bond and just made it a hundred proof whiskey. Then they came out with this series, and this is the, uh, I think, the only Bottled and Bond product uh, Brown Foreman makes. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, besides the, the like the hundred proof that comes out, is that Bottled and Bond? It's not Bottled and Bond. That's one's not because they bond. use multiple seasons in it. Yeah. See, I learn something from you every day. <laughs> yeah. But this is this one's a little. Pricier than like the 86 and the 100. Right. Um, retails about around 45, 50 bucks. Yeah. Let's see, I get like molasses, bananas. Yeah, you definitely get that banana. The banana comes through, doesn't it? You get that rich caramel molasses. Mm hmm. Dark fruit. Yeah. As well, like just a hint of there. It's mostly banana, but. Yeah, there's a little bit of a. A little bit of a pit, pitted fruit, yeah, pitted plum, fruit. prune, something like that. Mm -hmm. But just take a sip. Chocolatey caramel bananas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The nice oak it's finish. Real, this really is a good vintage for the... Yeah. The rest of the series, I wasn't as impressed with. I do, I do like the others. Uh, entries into that, uh, that series, um, like the 1910, and then the 1920. I think there's one other one. There's an 1870. 1870. I think this one, for me personally, the strongest entry in that uh, in that series. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really good. It is a very good, good bourbon. Just a good strong, like you said, caramel, chocolate, banana. A little bit of a, a spiciness to it, like a black pepper, um, particularly on the finish for me, the black pepper comes yeah. through. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of oak, a little bit of uh, almost a, a pecan or walnut. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it sits back there nicely too, yeah. nice, nice warm. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great bourbon. Great bourbon. All right, Mike, what's the next one you got for us? Well, the next one we have is a bottle of Whiskey Row Bottled and Bond. As you can tell, this is uh, uh, <laughs> one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this was a uh, uh, bottled uh, uh, 2020, I think it was, is when they first started doing this. And... Uh, uh, they sent me the bottle, and I opened it and took a drink, and all I could say was, wow. Yeah. And Rosemary was like, wow, what do you mean, wow? And I poured, you know, let her take a sip of it, and she goes, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's really good whiskey. Yeah, that, that's the first distillery that I went with you. Uh, it was the Cad Distillery. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a nice little, nice little spot. I really like it. Yeah. Um, who's the master distiller there? Jade Peterson. Real, really talented distiller. Great person. Makes a whiskey there for their own brands, like the Whiskey Row and and such. But uh, they also make Jeffersons there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Jeffersons their biggest one, right? Yeah. By far. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that you had a little uh, mishap with the uh, Jeffersons. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, that was another one of uh, my girlfriend Becca's favorites. Where it was maybe the first release of the Jeffersons Ocean. Yeah. Yeah, and she took a little vacation, and when she came back, it was gone. It was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Never lived that one down. But this is just oh, so man. good. I mean, there's rich vanilla. There's oak. There's some fruit, like peaches and apricots, and maybe even a little raspberry, cherry. It's kind of like yeah, it's it's yeah. A lot I of mean, fruit going and, on and there. there's. Just a hint of baking spice. It's like mm -hmm. a allspice, maybe a little ginger. That's one that you could just nose all day. If you yeah. Have it. And let's take a drink. Oh wow, the fruit really comes out on this. It really does. You get that apricot, raspberry, peach, almost like a peach melba. You know, peaches and raspberries yeah. with a little vanilla cream on it. Yeah, I like that tartness of that raspberry. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Um, then it finishes with a really nice spiciness that is allspice, maybe a little cardamom. Mm -hmm. Just a, a hint of, like, for me, like maybe a hint of tobacco at yeah. the end there. Um, but man, yeah, mostly it's just, it's like fruit, vanillas, just real pleasant. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can tell by the, yeah. If the bottle's that low at your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, have plenty, I, have, good one. I have plenty of things. I mean, this is my second bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a bottle of this at my house, too. Yeah. I, I really love this stuff. Yeah. There's not much left of it, either. Yeah. We need to go out and get another one, it looks like. Both I think of so, us. so, yeah. Oh, that's so good. So, what do you got? <clears throat> My next one, uh, I got the Henry McKenna. Yeah. Bottle and Bond. I mean, this one, I think most people know about this one by now. You know, it's, yeah. it's one of those that started out a little cheaper in the beginning. But oh, I yeah, think, you used to be able to get it for $25. Yeah. A 10-year-old whiskey for $25 was unheard of. I personally believe that they were underpricing it then. Right. But, you know. Um, cool bottle. Uh, I mean, what's inside? Yeah. I mean, I, I think this is uh, one of my favorites, definitely. Um, it's aged 10 years, uh, yeah. for those who don't know. Um, uh, now, which which distillery is this? Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill. I love Heaven Hill stuff. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can find this one that often. You know, it, it's, it, you know ever since a whiskey reviewer made it his whiskey of the year, Yeah, it has taken off, and people... Hunt it down. It's become harder to find. Uh, uh, when you do find it, they're charging a lot more for it. Uh, of course, Heaven Hill went up on the retail price when they started selling it. Right. Which, yeah, I don't blame them on that. I think exactly. I think the actual retail suggested retail price is like forty forty five dollars. Mm -hmm. But if you can find it for that, good. Yeah, yeah. good on you. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, because most liquor stores are going to sell it for fifty, sixty, seventy dollars because they know they can get it. Yeah. And you still won't be able to find it. <laughs> yeah. Because everybody's buying it up. Right. Oh, man, I love, I love the way this one. This one's got a fruity nose as well. I get a lot of caramel. Mm-hmm. get a lot of uh, uh, tobacco. You know, as a matter of fact, this is one of our favorite cigar bourbons. Back when Maggie and I were doing a lot of cigar bourbon pairings, Henry McKenna was really good at that. Good pairing. But you get a lot of oak. I don't know. I'm getting like, I'm still getting some raspberries and cherries. I don't know if that's just lingering from 
the last one, but oh. it's, it's, it's giving me dark fruits. I'm not really getting a lot of fruit out of this. Yeah. I'm getting more spicy. Definitely spicy. A little like ginger. Let's taste Wonderful. it and see what it does. Yeah, that's where I'm getting like the raspberry and then a lot of that caramel. Um, that tobacco notes there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the raspberry on the taste. Yeah. I mean, I can see why people buy this one. You know, it's just, it's so yeah. good. I try not to like just plow through this one because <laughs> I know it's hard to find, you know, so I, uh, I let it sit there. But every time I look at it, I'm like, man, I'll, I'll love to just get a pull of that. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, it goes really well with a cigar. Yeah. I'll take you up on that. All right. So, the next one, this is one that people are going to probably find hard, hard to find. It is the Frey Ranch Bottled and Bond Rye Whiskey. Um, Frey Ranch is a brand that uh, I first came across when... I was talking to Pat Heist at an event, and he said, I just, said, I just come back from uh, out west, and I brought me a case of Frey Ranch bourbon with me, because you can't get it here. And I go, oh, really? He goes, yeah, and it's really good bourbon. And I was saying, okay. So I went home and told Rosemary about it, and um, she started looking, found the seal box had it online. Mm -hmm. So she got me a bottle and uh, did a review. And they really liked the review that I wrote. And uh, I said, well, you know, it was my pleasure. It's great whiskey. So I'm always happy to review great whiskey. But I understand you got a rye whiskey that's bottled in bond. I'd love to review that. Yeah. So they sent me this bottle. Now, you know, unlike the uh, uh, Whiskey Row, I am nursing this one. I, you know, if I had my way, I'd be drinking, you know, this yeah, a lot more often. You know, but you can't get it here. Right. Um, so you got to take care of those people. Right. Yeah. You know, they're a small distillery on a ranch out in uh, Phelan, Nevada. Uh, been ranching there since 1854. Uh, about... Eight ten years ago, they started distilling, and this is a uh, five year old rye that they've uh, bottled and bond. Yeah, the bottle's cool. I mean, yeah, the bottle design. is very cool. Yeah, great great I love design. That design. Yeah, yeah, I love this kind of a ranch looking. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this, that's really cool. Um, and man, yeah, but, the first time I tasted this one, I, I was yeah, I was kind of blown away. Because that was kind of earlier in the days when the ice just started tasting, and, you know, I still thought all good stuff came from Kentucky, you know? <laughs> you yeah, most of it my, does. Opened up my mind. Most man. of it does. <laughs> but you can get some really good stuff outside of... Yeah, you can. Yeah, we've tasted a lot of it. Yeah, I'll tell you, another bottle and bond that I was tempted to put in here was the Detlin. Oh, yeah. From southern Alabama. Yo, but... Uh, that's an interesting place because I don't know how the seasons work down there, you know, but like that's a thing, you know, about Kentucky that makes it. You yeah, know, the seasons, seasons are very predictable, but, you know, of course they get hurricanes. We don't. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Not normally. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this is so good. Yeah. I mean, you get that ryegrass to start with. R ryegrass, I get like lemongrass. And you get caramel, you get a little citrus, you get a little. I get like a little yeah. apricot, peach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get some Nutty. baking spices in there, like a little cinnamon, nutmeg. You get oak. It's just a really nice, complex bur uh, whiskey, rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells great. Yeah. So let's take a sip. It's. It might have been. It might be my favorite one yet. I don't know. It, it just, it blasts me with like a great ryegrass, a great citrus, um, yeah. and then kind of a cinnamony, <coughs> cinnamony oak finish. Um, man, it's, yeah. yeah. 
It is such a great whiskey. I mean, I'm getting ryegrass, vanilla, caramel, almost a butterscotch. Butterscotch? Nice. Yeah. Then you get that apricot, lemony, you know, peach fruit. Mm -hmm. Then you get that cinnamon and nutmeg and maybe even a little cardamom spice. Then you get that oak. I mean, it's just such a good whiskey. Yeah, it's got every, it hits all the points that I like, you know. And yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to get them to send me another <laughs> bottle somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so we just might have to make a trip. Yeah, a West Coast trip, you know. Right. So. That's great stuff. So what do you got? All right, for my last one, kind of a a classic. Great price range for this one as well. I think this one's it's under thirty. You know. Screw top. I know you love the screw top. Oh yeah. Old overhaul bonded. bonded. Oh yeah. Straight rye whiskey. Um, yeah. That's another Jim Beam product that they bought same time they bought the old granddad. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that they've done a great job of keeping the flavor profile very similar to what it was. Yeah. The bottle looks. They're cool too it's like an old medicine bottle almost yeah you know? well i mean it's you know a throwback to the old overhaul days yeah yeah you know? so yeah this is a this is one that you know you can get this anywhere yeah readily available pick it up goes great in cocktails and, and, and once again you're talking 25 30 to bucks yeah i believe it's cheap yeah um and exceptional for the price range Get that ryegrass, the vanilla, almost a French vanilla. Yeah. You get that cinnamon spices, you know, allspice. That's what hits me in the right, you know, is, is the pleasant spiciness of it. Yeah. And there's a little bit of a fruitiness to it. Almost like an apple, pear. Yeah, it would definitely look like a pear, yeah. Mmm. Nice sweet smell whiskey, yeah. Let's take a sip. And that sits right up there with all the others. Um, yeah. You know. I've always really loved the old overall. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's like it's it's kind of a classic rye, you know. Like right. Anything that you would describe a rye as that you would like, I think that has it. Yeah. Um, I still would prefer the uh, it's either the fried or fray ranch. Um, I think that one's just a, a just a little better yeah. of a rye, or maybe yeah. a lot better. Well, <laughs> but the difference is you can't get the fray ranch, mm -hmm. but you can get the old overhaul. Yeah, grab that old overhaul. And you know it's got such a nice overall great flavor yeah so for like beginning whiskey drinkers especially younger ones that don't have a ton of money um and you know like try out these kind of these kind of whiskeys you yeah. know the ones that are sitting there that like you know the old overhauls um you know i don't know the whatever else but <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's one thing we you know. tried to do here was pick whiskeys that you can find Right, yeah. You know, there's a couple that are harder to find, the, the Henry yeah. McKenna and the, the Frey Ranch. But other than that, you know, the, you can find... I would love to like, see where, where the, like, how far the, the, the Frey Ranch spreads, like a, where, where they're... Yeah, I, I think right now, because they're such a small distillery, it's just, you know, Nevada, Arizona, uh, California... Just that little west you know, pocket there. Yeah, you yeah. know, out west, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Wyoming, uh, Colorado, you know, those areas. But yeah, but I think it's mostly that. Yeah. Yeah. So west yeah, coast. So. Hundred proofs. Yes. Hundred video. So, thank you for watching. If you uh, uh, enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. Yeah, like the video as well. And. Uh, Follow us on bourbonbeach.com.
Yeah, we put out a video pretty much every week, yeah. every Monday. Well, so. I'm, I'm talking about my blog, Grit and oh, Band. Yeah. Follow the blog. You, you write at least, what, twice a week? Maybe? Three times a week. Three times a week. So, yeah. here's to 100 Proof Whiskey. Yeah. Cheers. And 100th video. 100th video. <laughs>